Good morning. Uh, today I'm talking about domain up down control binding using EDMX file in Windows Home. So first of all, add a EDMX file in so, uh, into your project. So select ad.net entity data model by the new component wizards. Select the data source uh, from the SQL server by the new connection. Select uh, SQL server database. Uh, choose data from the choose data source that is a Microsoft SQL server. Provide the server name uh, in the connection properties. Actually, uh, domain up down control is a picker control, or you ca or you can say that say it's a simple uh, select. There are uh, there we we have uh, some options to choose only the single value at a time so we can use a draw domain up down control it's a uh, similar to the numeric up down control but numeric up down control takes number only uh, minimum to maximum but the domain up down control take uh, string values so today i'm talking how to bind the domain up down control uh, with the database fields in this example so uh, after binding uh, after adding the edmx file you can bind it with the particular column or you can say the field of the database so uh, in this example i will show you how to bind it so first of all retrieve all the columns uh, from the database table by using the link query uh, and after that one by one we can add in the domain up down control similarly uh, we can add in the combo box or the list box okay domain up down control uh, actually looking like the uh, radio button control uh, um, because in the case of radio button we can select only in single item at a time yes so uh, lastly add three tables in the module that is deposit user account and user table in this example I retrieve the account number from the user account table if you bind to other uh, control from this table simple write the uh, link query to bind other controls so first of all bind the domain up down control uh, so uh, drag and drop the um, domain up down control button on the yeah so I have a context class that is a <coughs> banking and uh, system entities back banking system entities BS equals to new banking system entities by using this class we can uh, retrieve all the columns of the data table of the table by using the public properties of this class so variable items equals to bs dot user accounts here user accounts is a public property in the banking system entities class that is the data contact class so uh, here we have convert uh, the object into the array so we have a two-dimensional array now I want to bind the item by using add range method but here we have a simple problem we cannot bind the sim single item at a time by using if uh, this is the two dimensional array so we can retrieve if you want to retrieve the single item item at a time so use any other loops so uh, here we use for each loop to bind uh, to add the item in the domain up down control so variable item in item here the collection that is item and uh, change the variable name that is item one yeah that's fine now uh, add item in the domain up down control one by one dot items dot add oops dot add 
object item is uh, item dot item one dot account number dot to string so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all video tutorials which is related to uh, your query and uh, windows form thank you thank you very much check your output